Hi, this is Ron Metchib playing the Hunter on PC. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Red Dot Pistol Scope. Achieve close range precision with this slick Red Dot Reflex Scope, suitable for small and medium sized handguns. Boasts a multi coated lens to provide a clear view of your target with adjustable Red Dot intensity. The characteristics of the scope are magnification, there is none, reticle Red Dot, field of view full. The weapons it fits are the 10mm semi-automatic pistol, the 2.2 grasshopper pistol, the 308 highwayman handgun, the 308 rival handgun. So four different pistols. Uh, we're going to talk about the benefits of this and maybe the minuses in a minute. Why would you buy an item in the hunt? I like to look at each thing and see what you would want it for. Now one of the plus points straight at the uh, at the gate is the 10 millimeter semi-automatic pistol hasn't got a scope so that's probably one of the main reasons why you buy this um, all the others ha can have scopes on them or I've got scopes on them already whereas the semi-automatic pistol hasn't the only problem I can see with this is there is no zoom now take the grasshopper for example um, you can have uh, a, s a scope with a zoom on it now that might not seem much but that little bit of zoom and realistic how many shots you're going to fire probably is better. We're going to try the targeting in a minute. Once we have a quick look at all the other guns it fits and what it looks like. But I want to see what is the exact reason why I, w I, w I want this scope. Um, could be speed. You might be able to get a few more shots off a bit more accurate. But then again, on the grasshopper, I'm thinking uh, with the zoom in, for example, ducks is what you use that for and pheasants without the zoom it's going to make it harder to hit them than it is with the zoom so the main plus for this and why I brought it in particular is for the 10 millimeter semi-automatic pistol and a lot of people have asked for a sight for this uh, because the grasshopper had one and was on about how it slides back and if you look it sits right on the back of the pistol right let's try the target see how we perform with it this is my first time with it on the target range at short range it's obviously pretty easy and you can fire it pretty quick as well with a 10 mil and it's accurate but that's not a, a great distance then again realistically you're not going to be using this gun past about 50 meters anyway obviously people will shoot further distances but in everyday hunting mainly in the game it's going to be up to about 50 meters I wouldn't say take shots further than that realistically so at the distances I'm shooting now is probably what you're going to use it at Let's just shut that uh, target so yeah it's, it's pretty good I don't mind it but as you can see there's no zoom so I'd probably be able to see that target a bit better with zoom so I think you're not going to rattle off like 10 shots anyway are you at that range for an animal because the first two it's going to be running away so realistically does it benefit you having the zoom over maybe getting a few more shots off quicker I don't know let's just have a look at the shots there a few sort of in the money uh, but a uh, few stray ones but it's my first go with it some people might use it for ducks but I think the zoom um, other scopes will probably work out better what I think this will be good for is um, bigger animals there is a, a competition at the minute as well called sheep shooter so we're going to take part in that you've got to have this scope and you can take part in it you've got to get a doll sheep and you've got to get a big horn sheep and they've got to be heart shots so we're going to see if it's accurate or not now or I'm accurate or not I should say so we've come to White Rhyme Ridge and I've been tracking a nice doll sheep it looks like a very big male I've got to get a heart shot I'm using the highwayman come on wish me luck that right it's down you just got to pray that that is a heart shot because that is very big that looks that looks a monster doll sheep definitely one of the biggest I've seen and definitely one of the biggest I've shot so I'm going to collect this it will be very nice if it's a heart but the hunting gods let me have it do like this uh, highwayman it's a very pretty looking gun 
I haven't used it for quite a while. No! <laughs> ah. Look at that lung. 206.577. That is massive. I've just checked quickly uh, while I take a trip shot, and that is seventh on the leaderboard. That's how big that is. So, while I'm a bit good, it's not a hot shot. That is humongous. That is really big. Uh, that's definitely being stuffed. That's a new addition to the trophy room. So, I'm glad I've come in there, tested it out. Where are you going? You can't get over the wall. That's part of the night's watch. Come back. Where's he going? Going nowhere. No, he's gonna knock me off. <laughs> I don't think that's a hot shot, as I've shot him in the butt already. But it was just weird. I was climbing straight up, so I had to finish him off. Take a show for shot. I've not really hunted doll sheep much, but since I've started doing it quite a bit, I'm really enjoying hunting them. And great trophy shot. Do you like the fur on them as well and the horns. Now we're supposed to be getting heart shots on these, but I seem to be getting every other organ but the heart. This does seem to fire a little high, so I've got to aim a little bit lower than I'm sort of thinking about. I've been tracking this one now, and I tell you what, it's been like David Blaine trying to find it. Every time I think I've got it, it just disappears again. So I've snuck right up on it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking no heart shot for an answer here. This is getting what I don't care what the score is now. I shot three or four. It's not even a big one. So I'm gonna aim really low on this one. Right. It's obviously dead. I've shot it from about two meters. <laughs> I just want to get it done because I'm not too bothered because I got the real big uh, doll sheep and we've got heart and lung. I'm just so glad to get that out of the way. For those doing it, they'll know. Looks like she's hugging me. Nice little trophy shot. Right, next we've got to get a big horn sheep. Now, some people have trouble finding these. And I've got a lovely little spot on a railway line and a bridge. If you put the tent there, where we are now, you will get great big longhorn sheep quite often. They're often just under this bridge and all round in this little basin. I'll add the coordinates of where it is if you don't know where it is but just put your tent this other tunnel and then just walk out if you fast travel here after doing a little bit of hunting often they'll be just roaming underneath this bridge like I'm going to show you in a minute uh, sometimes you can get like seven or eight here in one go it's a nice male on my left uh, you often get groups of females like five or six but what I'm saying is a lot of things in the hunt are quite simple. It's just trying to work out how to work or how to go about it. This is where I currently am now. It's a railway bridge that passes between the mountains. And like I say, anywhere on this bridge, put your tent down and you should be golden. Uh, there's, there's plenty of uh, big horn sheep. And a lot of people struggle with these or don't hunt them because they can't find them. But this is a very good spot for finding them. So what you need to do is, if you can't see me when you come here, there's some in front of me under the bridge, they're either up the hill on the left where we've just seen the male, or they're just down the hill in the valley. So just have a look in those places and they're often here. Uh, we've got a group of females at the minute. One thing you might notice is you can actually hear them when they walk in here. You can hear them, it's quite distinctive. Um, and if they're scoring up rocks, you can hear that as well. So you have to have your uh, sand up and uh, your ears ready I'm not going to shoot anything here I'm just going to show you that you don't have to be like Superman to get these big horns they're pretty simple to find if you come to the right locations like any other animal in the hunter it's trying to bring a simpleness to the game so it just works most of the time a lot of people write fancy guides and a lot of how to do's and that. a lot of it you don't need to do it's just pretty straightforward a lot of it is just location and getting good vantage points of where the animals might be and then it's just a little bit of luck where we get a nice big one or, or not so try and keep things simple and just adapt a little if you need to so we've got five or six females in front of me 
I'm just going prone, just showing you how close you get as well. Because uh, some of the big males, they can spot you from quite a way away. So obviously don't start running about and stuff or you will spook them. So as you can see, look at that. About 20 meters away. Calm as out. So I hope that helps you out, this location. Right, let's go and kill some now. Because we need to get this uh, competition entry. And I'm not trying to win it, but we are having fun by entering it. And like I say, getting the hearts on uh, both these animals is actually quite tricky when you're first using this scope. So you've got to get it just right and get the feel for it. So I can hear one scoring up some rocks in front of me, so that's what I'm going for. I'm not bothered what he scores because I just need one of them and it's got to be a heart shot. So here goes. It's a bit awkward. I ideally want it front on because from the side you're more than likely going to hit the lung. But I'm going to have a go anyway. Or when he's not in the bush, I will. Let's come out. Here we go. Oh no, is he spooked? No, nah, he's just trotting. But he's gone behind the bush again. Oh, there we go. Right. He's dead. I think some more scurrying about. The good thing about this area and the basin is because it's steep. <laughs> We've got him. Um, often they'll either go up or down because of like how steep it is they'll be really slow so that means you can pick them off as they work out where to go whether they're going up or down right is this gonna be a hot shot not very big nope typical it's a, a long shot Ron's gonna have like half a hair missing on his head as he's winding me up <laughs> Right, next one, where is it? Might be a bit awkward, hopefully we don't fall. Will this one be the hot shot? As long as we get a hot shot and we get our entry in, that's it, that's mission complete for me, I'm happy. That's nothing, just... <laughs> Hunting gods don't want me. Hopefully the uh, third one is the lucky one, the lucky charm. Come on, just just one heart shot. That's all we want on this big horn sheep. I'm not bothered about the score, but I need some hair left. It's been the school holidays here in the UK, so we've had 70, seven weeks on my kids at home. So I've got like, just <laughs> I think I'm gonna have no hair by the time of this. This is just finishing me off. Right, where are you? I can hear it. I can hear it scoring about somewhere. I know there's one here somewhere. There it is. I think it's just in front of me. I just caught a glimpse of it. Right, so here's the third one. Third time lucky. Here he goes. And he's down. This looks a bit um, steep, <laughs> to say the least. Hopefully we don't fall down it and we collect it. Fingers crossed. So if you get this scope, remember to enter the competition it's on. I want you to have nowhere just like I'm going to have. <laughs> no, I just want you to have some fun. Enjoy it. It's always nice to take part uh, with the community on events like this. And uh, this should be a fun one. And we're done. We didn't need no medikits. I don't even know if I brought any. So, <laughs> Will it be a heart shot? Here it is. It is heart and lung. We've done it. So Ron's got a bit of hair left. He's done the objective. I've uh, got a position in the comp. No one else has done it yet, so it's early doors. But I'm glad to get in there. The uh, the big doll sheep made it for me. Like I say, seventh on the leaderboard. What a beauty! And before I go, you know when you have to white-tailed ptarmigan, and everyone says they don't know where they are. They're really hard to hunt. I know what they are. They're bats. That's why no one could find them. They've been living in that tunnel all this time in the dark. So that's been me, Ron McTube, been playing the Hunter on PC. Today we've been taking a look at a red dot scope for the pistols. I think it's a great buy for the 10mm. Apart from that, I'd buy the zoom scopes. But for the 10mm, great item. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.